this tower with Rosa. Bring the crystal and I'll return you the girl. You had better hurry up or else. I can't guarantee her life. Now come. I'm sure I will. We need to head all the way to the top here. We're, we're headed to... A, this is a tower. Obviously, I believe it's called the Tower of Zot. Could be wrong, but we have new enemies. These are centaurs. Not able to charm them. Oh well. It's worth a shot, I guess. I did uh, re-equip uh, Cecil with the silver... Um, the silver sword, uh, since really there's nothing better for me to have him do. Uh, can we change them? That'd be awesome. Uh, the rods, by the way, give more uh, wisdom, and I believe the staffs give more will. Well, uh, we can't change them, of course not. That's just me hoping and praying that it didn't work out. Stop hitting my mage! Die, you dirty centaur! That should be enough for the victory. Down goes the last one. And one battle in, and I need to heal, apparently. We get 525 heals, 750 experience. Do need to heal, though. Which is why I bought so many cure potions. Now, let's go over here and get ourselves the fire armor. We're going to put that on Cecil right away, especially since I never did get that, um, well, silver body armor. <laughs> See, yeah, I still don't know how I got two silver shields. I really don't. But let's put that on. 4210, there we go. Plus, I assume that it does help against fire magic. We have new enemies here. We have a Marion and, a, and, and two puppets. And I assume that it's a... Uh, well, okay, the dolls are called marionettes, if I remember right. So I believe it's the marionier. Can I change you guys? It'd be awesome if I could. Well, okay, now I just have the marion left. But hopefully... No, I figured not. I believe it's like marionetter, marionier, something like that. The puppeteer, and of course it calls another puppet. Damn you. Right, let's take out the Marion then. Let's focus our attacks there, and then we can finish off the puppet when they are done. Damn, that puppet hits hard. And it was charmed. Nice. So you go ahead and smack it upside the head. It is pretty much useless for the rest of this fight. Cast Berserk? You can still cast Berserk when you're charmed? Oh, I guess you could, but still. That is weird. You get 735 gil, 990 experience. Sit in his teeth, man. And we get a rune ring, I guess. Ring, bracelet, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where is that? Let's see, we got 12, 12, 2, 13, 16. That is a definite improvement. Now, don't you both have silver? Okay, you're on gloves, and then you must be on the ring. Okay. Could be a bracelet, though. Could definitely be a bracelet. Looks like a ring to me, though. We need to move on. After we take on more slimes. Now can I kick these slimes into oblivion? Please tell me yes. That would make my life so much easier if it's a yes. I'll peep at him just in case. Will you stop hitting me? I cannot do that. What are you guys weak to? They only have 50 HP. They're weak against fire. Okay, I'm going to try to use fire one across the board. Kick apparently did no damage whatsoever. Go fire, 50, come on, 50 damage, yes! All oh, but two of them, damn you. Damn, do these guys hit hard, okay. So, for this one, I'm gonna change the Thunder Claw over to the Fire Claw, you can just change them like that. And I'm gonna use the Fire Claw on uh, one of them. And that should be enough to take out one. Seriously, it didn't do anything? I hate you, game. I swore the fire claws you could just use them. Well, tell them get his turn again, please. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm whittling these guys down. Oh, very little at a time. So little. Stop hitting me. I'm trying to kill you. Freaking slimes. Go, fire. Finish them off. So apparently from now I'm going to at least have to use Fire 2 to make sure I get the victory. You get 200 gills, 760 experience, Cecil gains a level. Nice. Now we can finally go through the door. And we can just go straight. There aren't going to be very many options here. I choose not up and left. Now all of a sudden 
it becomes a maze. I don't like mazes, especially when there's fights in the middle of them. Anything up here? There's a fight up here with ice beasts and centaurs. Let's take out the centaur. Hopefully. Good lord, everything around here is just kicking my ass. I have a plan, hopefully. Now let's go for fire two on everything. Kill the ice beasts. Kill the centaur as well, actually, if you, if you guys get an opportunity to do that. I'm going to need to heal again. Down goes the centaur. Go, fire two. Charm. Nice. We do have the fire claw on uh, Yang as well, so that's going to help out as well. Down they both go, thanks to fire two. 735 kill, 1,035 experience. Sid gained a level, Yang gained a level, Tella gained a level, but didn't gain any MP. Which is going to make healing a little bit awkward. You know, I was just using Cecil to heal and it occurred to me. He's got just as much MP as Tella does now. I mean, Tella's MP is ridiculously low, isn't it? Ugh, man. You're supposed to be this great sage. Got nine... Monsters! No! Flame dog! He casts fire! Which damn near kills everybody. But we've charmed him! Nice. Cover, please! Cast fire on himself and he heals. Okay. I was about to say, if he casts that on us, we're screwed. Go, ice, too! So he's gonna continually heal himself and then we'll amount. But we need to try to keep doing as much damage as we can. Go, ice, too! Come on! For the victory! Yeah, down it goes. Holy crap! <laughs> you get 245 kill, 430 experience, which is not worth how much damage we got. And we get a flame sword, a fire sword, uh, that uh, chest, I guess, is what they were trying to go for there. But we do need to equip that. Let's see how much of an upgrade that is. From 60 attack on the silver sword to 75 attack on the fire sword. Just huge improvements, but I do need to heal again. With that done, let us move on. We can head to the next floor from here. I can see it now. We are on the third floor. Now, I believe that I want to head north after this fight. Actually, no, I think I want to go south here. This is going to be another one of those maze rooms, and all of them lead to dead ends. They all lead to dead ends. And here we have sword man and ice lizards. This surely will not work out well for us. Hopefully... Jeez. Why do you guys hit so damn hard? Hopefully the flame sword kicks in, and it does. Nicely done. And the flame claws as well. Can I change you into a big? Damn you, swordsman. I can change him into a big. <laughs> What's your curse going to do now? Nothing, because you're a big. Absorb. That's not going to do anything, because you're a big. He still hits ridiculously hard, though. But down goes the swordsman. He gets 755 kill, 1,025 experience. God, I hate these rooms. I just amazes. Ah, ice lizards and slimes. So let's continue on, and it looks like I have chosen the wrong path here because it's a long, winding path, and I didn't want to take the long, winding path. It leads me up and around, which takes me to a door. There it is. You scared me, game. I thought it wasn't going to be there. And here on the fourth floor, we take one step and get to a fight with Epi Girls. I don't know what they are, but they look like they want me dead. So this isn't a great first date for us. Can I change them? I would love to change them into little biggies. I don't know why, but, you know, what, what, whatever works for me works for me, I guess you could say. We've charmed them! Of course we have. We are young. Cannot change them into biggies. <laughs> Maybe because they already look like pigs? I don't know. <laughs> That's it. Hit your teammates because you are charmed. And then the other one missed. This is working out surprisingly well. Yeah, you should be able to finish off this other one. Down it goes. Damn you, happy girls. It's 600 gil, 945 experience. Cecil gains a level. Nicely done. 
Now you have more MP. Really, one step. One step. Let's continue on now that the game will let me get a little bit more than one step in before I get into another battle. We need to head over to the middle of the room first. And we need to head up these stairs. And up these stairs. Uh, let's go to the left one first. Uh, I like left. Actually, we do have a new enemy here. I didn't see it at first. This is the, uh, the witch. And it casts slow on... I don't know who it hit. I think... I think it hit... Tella? I think it hit Tella. To be honest with you, I'm not sure. Let's kill the ice beast, though. And then uh, we can cast... Actually, let's go for our piggy. Hopefully we can change the witch into a pig. So she doesn't cast slow yet. And it didn't work on... No, it did! Nice! Alright, kill... Kill the epi girl then. And then, uh... Cecil can focus on, uh... On that ice beast which is left. Down it goes, down it goes. Now we can take out the witch at our leisure. Because I'm sure she doesn't have anything that is a physical attack. Or even if she does, it's not going to be very strong. Down goes the witch! The 1,090 gil. 1,517 experience. Sid gains a level. Yang gains a level. And that's it. I'm going to try going on without healing again. But that could be tough. And here we get some poison claws. Which I'm going to equip on Yang instead of the fire claws. Even though... Even though the fire claws are doing massive damage against those kinds of enemies, uh, the, the ice enemies, I'm going to move it over. Because, you know, charm and poison? How could we go wrong? Let's continue on. Hopefully we can find some more treasure. We do! Down here we can get ourselves the flame shield, fire shield. That's going to go on Cecil since he's the only one that can use a shield anyway. Where is it? There it is. From 4210? to 4210, but, you know, we do have more defense against fire as well. Let's head back up the way we came, because this is a dead end, even though that did give me some nice equipment, some upgrades, which is always appreciated. The ice lizards that you can fight here, they can uh, petrify you slowly. Luckily, it is slowly, and I'm able to finish fights usually before, before the petrify fully kicks off. Back on the fifth floor, we can go over here and get the earth wrench. Let's go ahead and equip that then. I never get the upgrade to the Silver Wrench, but it looks like we've already got something better. From 57 to 78. It's definitely marked improvement. Now we can head over to the far right here. Now we can head into this last door in the middle here. This is all kind of bonus uh, for, for equipment and all that kind of stuff. And in here we get a wizard robe. I'm going to go with robe because it's a wizard. And we go from 1316, if I can find it, to 1518. Definitely marked improvement. And I will try to clear up my inventory eventually. So let us head back through the last door into the main room, this little hub room, and we can continue on with the rest of the dungeon. Of course, we will get more fights along the way. And unfortunately, these fights are starting to make me use ethers, which I am not a fan of, ever. So we move on to the fifth floor for real this time is there anything further over here well there's a room right here let's go into there and here we find a save point which i will use and i will see you guys next time because that is going to do it for these parts of let's play final fantasy 4 i've been baller scuba i've been joined as always by my trusty squad of Sitella, cecil and yang when we come back, we will take out the rest of this dungeon. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.